Thank you for calling the London, Kentucky office of United States Senator Mitch McConnell. Our office hours are 8.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. If you're calling during that time, we are presently on the other line assisting callers. However, please feel free to leave your message. Be sure to leave your full name, your mailing address, and your phone number, including area code. Thanks again for calling. Uh, yes, um, I was just watching Steny Hoyer on the uh, floor of the House, and he's raging about the Constitution. And I just wanted to ask if you or Senator McConnell are aware of the only written guarantee in the Constitution. And if we don't follow that only written guarantee in the Constitution, we should either be removed from office or voted down, whatever. Anyway, that's Article 4, Section 4. It's the reason that the 13 original states formed the United States, and that's to protect each of them against external attacks or invasion. Uh, so I would certainly like to see Senator McConnell or President Cruz to enforce the only written guarantee in our Constitution. Thank you. So, did you get the package off your front porch yesterday? This, uh, this, uh, size of, uh, lip gloss, yeah. lipstick, lipstick yeah. box? Yeah. I haven't opened yeah. it. I was waiting until you got here. Yeah, the NGK spark plug yeah. for the new generator. I could just feel that it's about the size of lipstick, and I thought, yep. Uh, That's I, your five dollar spark plug. Well, I'm not. But you only need one. I'm no longer competent to do engine repairs. Oh, or, what did you break this time? <laughs> yeah, I just I'm gonna leave it for you. Okay. Well, don't <laughs> lose it. <laughs> if I don't put it in, I'll lose it. So I better go put it in. Yeah. So Here we know that. Yeah, I mean, you know, but let's let's make sure it's good before you throw the other one away. You can lose, you know. Oh, then I have to turn the the fuel valve no. on and off. Yeah, I know. So you don't want to do that. So just, uh, um, well, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. The spark plug will be good. Yeah, I'm wanting to race up to Mineola and back and fill up all these cans with. No ethanol gas. I'm I'm running running low. Yeah. yeah. I should have I should have done that when I was there. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't uh, even think about it, but I, we did empty that one can. Yeah, I'm pretty empty on that all of them. Been, that should have been our alert. But. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then I bought those two other cans. Can't have enough gas cans. Hey, I know I've got. I have extras that I am never going to use that are sitting outside. Yeah. In the shade, but they're outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just because, you know, at, at, at the estate sales, when they have to get rid of chemicals, I said, what are you doing with these gas cans? They said, oh, you can have them. I said, okay. Yeah. And one of them was better than one I had, so I took mine out of service and put that one in service. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's uh. I don't know. I guess California, they're so concerned about environmental disposal, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, you could probably say, I'll, I'll take that contaminated gas can off your hands for five bucks. You give me five bucks and I'll take it. I'll dispose of it for you. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> or they have to wait a month and a half so they can go to a household hazardous waste because most of them know that we have a household hazardous waste program which yeah. used to run every month. Yeah. You know, 
when it started, it was like once and twice a year, and then it then it went to three times a year, then it went to every month, and now it's back to five times a year. You know, every other month except December, yeah. and uh, and so, I mean, in the old days, we used to get a lot of calls to pick up waste on the side of the street because yeah. people would be moving and have you know boxes and and just set it out in the street you know half a block from their house and uh, and some of them were inventive they had shopping carts full of stuff and it was always just you know paint brake fluid gasoline uh, paint stripper, uh, you know, just crap. But now that uh, you know, the at least it's it's the program's more well known. So uh, you know, I haven't been out on one of those in a couple of years. Yeah, it used to be every month, every six weeks. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, and every every inspector was doing that. So we were, so you were doing four or five abandoned waste calls a month. Yeah. And now that they advertise, they know about the household hazardous waste. Now it's you know three a year. Yeah. For the whole department. 